Our next speaker is Amy Hale. Learning by design, making the most of informal and extended learning environments. Hi there. So this is Nancy. And aside from being my comfort object today, <laughs> Nancy is here to help remind me to talk to you about the power of play. You see, Fred Rogers had it right. Play is the hard work of childhood. It matters. It's real learning. And here at the Seattle Children's Museum, I want to talk to you a little bit about how we make extended and informal learning environments an important part of that learning. So a couple things that we do. Number one, you've learned about designed environments. That is something that we do here as well. We carefully design our environments to be multicultural, inviting to all, culturally relevant, to seed it with burning questions that will arise from the variety of materials that we find. and we have play facilitators to support the learning that takes place there. So those are the two things that I want to talk to you a little bit about today. I invite you also, since you happen to be in our space, to take the time to look at our space when you have a moment later today. So what does that look like, that intentionally designed environment? In one space, it could like a look like a child able to don a button blanket cape and a cedar headband, or be able to keep time to the pulse of a story with a drum made for small hands. It could look like utilizing uh, stories, and traditional stories, and the puppets created by native artisans to learn the values and the customs of other people. Or it could look like our classrooms and our investigation station. We've squished it over a little bit to make room for your seats, but we do have an investigation station over here where we are all about the questions. We see that environment with lots of materials to foster burning questions for our kids. And again, in the other spaces that we've heard about today, these are multi-aged children. So let's take a look at a couple of them. Over here, you have a four-year-old and an almost nine-year-old. Very different people in temperaments, very different interests, except that they've been drawn together by a common question that they need to know. Looking at what is in that little vial there, they have come up with, selected their own questions. It's child-centered, it's based on the materials that they have at hand, and they have decided they're gonna test for water temperature, for pH, and they're going to do an experiment with the critter that's in there to see how it behaves around light. As it turns out, they also are going to play a rousing game of macroinvertebrate bingo, which I know you would love to play, but it really is a sneaky way to talk about taxonomy. <laughs> so that is what our informal learning environments are all about. We make that learning happen in a different way. It's low stakes, it's high interest, and we know through research that it involves and engages families of color and other marginalized groups in ways that are more effective than some of our traditional ways that we have tried to do so in the past. Another thing that I'd like to talk to you about is this, the second half of the slide over here, where you will see our wonderful play facilitator, Mimi. Now we call our educators play facilitators because instead of being the sage on the stage, they set the stage for learning. So they are providing the scaffolding for the learning to occur. They listen to the conversations and the questions that are happening amongst the kids. And then they judiciously supply more questions that will help lead them along their path of discovery. Now, I can tell you that the parents of these children would be shocked to see that they are still. But this was a beautiful opportunity that I caught with my camera where she had reeled them in in a lovely way to engage in talking about their ideas, their experiments, their discoveries, and what their next questions would be. Those are some of the things that our informal and extended learning opportunities can do for our children. We can take the time at our best 
to provide a low stakes, high interest environment where there is time and there's the ability to ask the question over and over again, test it again, argue about what a fair test really is. Discover other cultures by immersing yourself in them. My hope for you having come today is that you will have a chance to take a look at these environments in a new way and we can invite you to come here and participate in a dialogue. If you are looking for a culturally, envir culturally rich environment, we would love to hear from you and what your community needs. We would love to partner with you on that. Thank you.